Great, so I'll be visualizing everything that I speak about because I think visualization is extremely important. It's one of the main ways we can cooperate without conflict at scale. So, oh, Uh, at scale, cooperate at scale. Okay, so what I'll be presenting here is an alternative version of society. We live in one type of society and we're trying to create another type of society. And this requires a different way of thinking and sometimes different language. It requires removing contradictions from our present way of thinking. And it requires room. And biases also. Certainly. Can you be in front of me? Yeah, I, I can. It requires removing contradictions and biases from our current way of thinking. So I'm going to start out with the four fundamental systems of every type of society. So we can understand any type of society by breaking it down into each one of these systems. Different types of societies have different configurations of these systems. Okay, the first system is the social... Here, put this over here. Thank you. The first system is the social system. The second system is the decision system. So the social system is our social relationships and how we interconnect and relate to one another. The decision system is how we arrive at decisions together. And it's not about the language can be confusing here sometimes. In modern society, we talk about making decisions. Or taking decisions. And this sometimes leaves out the awareness that there is a process of decisioning. So we have two fundamental systems and then we have another two fundamental systems. The third system is the material system. The material system includes all objects in our physical environment. The fourth system is the lifestyle system. That's how we behave and interact uh, together in the physical environment. Our habits and uh, the, uh, the sort of 
qualities of our lives together and what we do on a daily basis. Our habits, qualities, and what we do on a daily basis. There's also two other standards that are necessary to understand any society. But they are not necessarily the four fundamental systems. One is an overview of the society. And one is a project plan for how that society is organized and continuously brought into existence. I'd also like to add one other idea as we're working through these fundamental systems of any society. That the real world is composed of two primary types of elements. You have information. And materiality. So the type of society we are creating has not necessarily been in existence on the planet before. And it is contrasted with the type of society that we have been brought up in. That we have been, it is contrasted with the type of society that we have been brought up in. And the language that we use to understand our society. So I'd now like to provide a little contrast between the type of society we currently live in and the type of society we would all like to live in. We currently live in the market state. We currently live in the market state. And I think we would all like to live in a type of society that we might define as community. The market state, as the word or term itself indicates, is composed of a market and states or governments. So the market includes things like trade. Oh, it includes uh, concepts like trade, trading. Yeah. Money. Credit. And money and credit are similar but different. So money in Marxism circulates. And credit does not. So credit is issued by some authority. And 
and then when it is used, it disappears. So now I'll move on to the state governments. Our world is split into many different governments. These governments are always changing, but they all have the same fundamental concept of operation. And governance is another word for government. <laughs> Gover governance? Yeah. And the concept of operation by which these, by which the state government governance and government operates, the concept of operation. Is authority. Authority is power over others. It's similar to rule over others. This is where the suffix ocracy comes from. The suffix that's yeah, ocracy. Uh, no. Ocracy. Similar to democracy. Yeah. And this suffix can be applied in many contexts. Sometimes it's circles that appear to be ruling over our lives. Sometimes it's people that appear to be ruling over our lives. Sometimes it's circles that appear to rule our yeah. Uh, sometimes it's people. Sometimes it's leaders. Yeah. So the market state also has several other concepts that define it. Of which competition is one example. Another is scarcity. Scarcity. Another is poverty. Can anyone think of others? Division. Conflict. Hmm. Yeah, competition. Hierarchy. Hierarchy. Yeah, property. Individualism. Individualism. Debt. Slavery. Yeah. Right. Ownership, similar to property. Mm -hmm. Suffering. Mm -hmm. Fear. 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 Tests. Tests. Cast. Tests. Cast. 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 Cast systems. Yes. Yeah. yeah, like similar to hierarchy. Class. Class. Classes, borders. Okay. So I think we're we'd like to move to a different way of living. Oh. Uh, social control. Social. Slavery. Yep. Slavery. Yes. And the type of society I think we'd like to live in. is oriented toward the highest fulfillment, well-being and flourishing. Yeah. 
pensar e o Freeman preenche preenche o mundo interior of all of us. De todos nós. And that requires a different configuration of these systems. Some of the terms that conceptually define community include besides fulfillment, well-being, and flourishing, are needs, resources, access, empathy, empowerment, Yeah. Equity, cooperation, compassion, um, compassion. Sorry, what? Free will, freedom, free will, transparency. Trust and honesty. Accountability and integrity. Beauty and aesthetics. Togetherness. Abundance, unity, joy, in health, mm -hmm. sovereignty. So, um, and accounting for both the individual and the social not just one or the other. Integration. Yeah, an integration of both. Some people ask me, you know, this type of society that you're building, um, you know, the social is the most important, right? And I say, you know, if you sacrifice the individual for the social, that probably isn't going to lead to where we want to go. Real choice. Um, the ability to explore our consciousness freely. I guess that kind of. Yeah. So the market state. We can provide an overview, a description of its operation. We can do the same for community. In the market state, there are many projects occurring. And most of these compete with one another. For resources, profit, power over others. And we can create a unified model unifying all these systems with an overview and a project to create community at the societal scale because that's what we're trying to do. Create a new type of society. 
Not just a new economy. Não uma nova or a new social organization. Ou, ou uma, uma At this point in time, a lot of people uh, say, well, isn't an economic system one of these fundamental systems? An economic system is the transformation of resources into that which is used. And in the market state, you could potentially separate that. However, however it is still part of these fundamental systems. And you can try and grow that separately. But that will begin disconnecting ourselves from one another and the ecology. Now I'm going to map out these systems within a unified model so that I can show you the integration of these systems. because that's what we're trying to do, remove contradiction and integrate our understandings for how we might all live optimally together and achieve global flourishing on the planet. So I'm going to start with a circle. Oh yeah, 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 thank you, Dan. And the circle is all encompassing of those systems. And includes a unified plan. A unified project plan. So now I'm going to separate the circles into the divisions of those systems. So we have a social system. We have a decision system. We have the material system and we have the lifestyle system. I'm going to give an overview of each one of these systems and, sh and, and show how they interrelate and interconnect. Now, the system I'm describing and I don't know how well this will translate, is simplex. It's a combination of the words simple and complex. Yes, there is a simple way of understanding all this, and yet there is significant complexity behind it. So today I'll be giving you a high-level, simple overview. <laughs> On the website, oravana.org, there are about 1,400 concept models that you can browse, oh, concept models that you can browse and search through. And you can use key terms to look for concepts that you're interested in. And every image is named correctly for its position in the technical standards. Standards. 
so, so they're technically called socio-technical uh, standards. And this is part number four. Yes, part well. Part yes, they're technically six documents, six technical stan socio-technical standards, or they could be called, sorry. Uh, or they could be called specification standards. So our world, our socio-technical world to a large extent, is safely built upon these socio a set of socio technical standards there are a variety of standard setting bodies on the world at the present point in time uh, there are a variety of uh, standards setting organizations And they ensure that at least our technical environment is safe for us to live in. And we can also define a set of specification standards for our entire society, which includes social and technical aspects. Mm -hmm. well, yes. So those current standard setting organizations depending upon uh, the purpose of the standard itself would fit within this model and could be placed within this model. So the first system I'm going to give a brief overview of is the social system. And to some extent, this is our navigational system. It's how we navigate together as a community. So there are two dimensions to the social system. You have the you have the information component which includes a section related to data. Data is just Data can be classified, every, technically everything could be classified as data. But in this context, this is information that hasn't been completely integrated and is new. The second section of the information section of the social system is not yes is knowledge so knowledge connects data and provides sufficient context for understanding the third section is values Values are how we orient our life together. A value could be looked at as a coordinate. 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 The social system for community has a set of core values
and then a set of stabilizing values. And I'm not going to go into each and every single one of these values, but I'll give you a brief overview. The three core values for community are freedom, justice, and efficiency. And these are not necessarily defined the same as they are in the market state. Efficiency is probably the one exception. Justice is a complex term, and I'd like to ensure that we understand what justice is in community. Justice is restorative of relationships. And if we were to qualify that, if we were to qualify, healthy relationships oriented toward the highest well-being of all. It also has a second component, justice, and that's distributive justice, equal access or equity. Uh, freedom is both an internal state of being yeah, and also an external state of living. And that provi provides a way of orienting our lives together and ensuring that our decisions create optimal environments for all of us. The second component of the social system is more navigational in nature. The first section of the three sections of this section <laughs> Our direction. We can define a direction for our society. And we can do that by defining a purpose or intention, a set of goals, and our needs. Our, need, our needs, yeah. And that creates a direction. Yeah, the second section is our values. Our values fit here and orient our direction. And then we have our approach. How we approach one another how we approach life together, and how we approach the systems that we are designing. The approach for community is also threefold. Um, has, is a triad or has three. The first component of that triad is systems thinking. Um, systems theory, the systems methodology. I just want to clarify a concept here. There is a difference between a methodology, methodology and a method. E method. 
people often get that confused. A methodology is the selection of different methods. The second uh, concept in the approach to a direction of higher fulfillment is critical thinking, the critical approach, removing contradictions, removing biases, flaws in our thinking, but But, and uh, the third is critical thinking. Oh, sorry, and I said that analysis. Yeah, analytical thinking. Breaking things down so that they are understandable. Understanding the objects and the processes that we need for this approach to greater fulfillment. I'm going to return to the values, the stabilizing values. A lot of the words we use to define community on the other piece of paper are are stabilizing values for the triad, the core triad of values. For example, aesthetics, open source or transparency, compassion. So that represents a navigational system for us all. And in this sort of a system, all tasks are completed as projects. Everything that you do is a project. And so project coordination is essential. So this information in the social system that forms the social system feeds into the decision system. The decision system allows us to take actions together that ensure embedded trust. Embedded trust within the system. The system. It uses. It uses an algorithmic approach. A set of instructions that if we were to all follow commonly with the same set of beginning data and same processes for resolving decisions, there's a high likelihood or certainty that we would arrive at the same conclusions and solutions. I'm now going to describe the basic process of decisioning. You have a set of inputs. So you have needs, you have, you have objectives, 
you have requirements and these feed in to a mechanism by which decisions are resolved. And we should visualize all of this. Even if we're coming to some consensus together in a small group, it would still be optimal to visualize this. And when the population scales larger, it is essential to visualize this. You then have a set of alternatives and these are alternative decision results or solutions. And one of them is selected. You can have probabilities of others being selected if something occurs or something isn't available and the optimal cannot be selected. That's just a basic overview of decisioning. But I'm going to describe how decisioning occurs within a community environment. This information is complex and within the decision system. And I'm just going to give a very brief overview. So the values The, the, the values represent inquiry processes. And those inquiry processes resolve questions. Resolve questions about what the optimal decision would be for all of us. And in the center here is the final solution, well, not final, the solution that is selected. It's not necessarily the final decision because this is a living system that is constantly updated as we gain more information. You could say that it forms a spiral. Continues forever. So here's the solution. The current selected state of the material system. This is the state of the current material system. And we constantly um, are feeding information through these inquiries to ensure the solution for our state uh, the we are currently feeding information through these inquiry processes so that our solution updates our state. In as great a real time as possible. No, in as um, uh, in real time. And that would be optimal. And that would require computation. And we probably won't achieve that for some time. There's one thing I forgot to mention concerning this model. This model is also referred to as the real world community model 
or community information systems model. Uh, along with the information provided here, there is economic calculation. And it's essentially economic compu computation. It tracks all resources. It tracks all resources. Track, uh, tra traces, traces. And objectives. And calculates optimal solutions. And there are a variety of formulas within the decision system standard. I'm not going to go into them here. But these are connected. Decisions modify the material state. And they that modification also changes our lifestyle. And that changes how we relate to one another. And that changes how we arrive at decisions. I'm now going to describe the material system. I think what we envision Oh, um, I might still, yeah, I don't know. Thank you, thank you, Dan. <laughs> yeah, is a network of integrated city systems that provide for our total fulfillment. And outside those city systems, people may live, And nature flourishes. These types of city systems may also be referred to as total city systems. This is the term the Venus Project generally uses. Uh, total city systems. These city systems provide for most, these, each city provides for most of our needs. But because resources are distributed all over the planet, some city systems may require resources from other city systems in the network because they're in a different location on the planet. A city system is more technically correct to call. So it is more technically correct to call a city system a habitat service system. Because it is a habitat that provides services based upon a set of systems to meet our needs. We can visualize a habitat service system as having Three platforms. Each platform is unique. 
and may provide services for the other platforms. The first platform is life support. So you can see we could represent this as a spaceship that we're all traveling together on. And we all need life support. We, we all need technical support. And we're exploring this universe together. And so the final one is exploratory support. And each of these systems has a set of subsystems. For example, life support has a cultivation system, a hydrological system, a medical system, an architectural system. Technical support has a data and information processing system. A communication system. And a production and recycling system. And the exploratory system may be unique for different cities, but you can still define some commonalities. such as learning or education. I prefer the word learning. Um, uh, scientific discovery. Consciousness exploration. And again, this is modeled in the documentation. And running through this system is the decision system. And all of this requires resources from our solar system. Now this is just one city system. So there are other city systems that have life support, technical support, exploratory support. And you could refer to each one of these unique city systems as a local habitat service system. And then you have together all of these forming a global habitat service system. Okay, okay. Uh, so each of these systems feeds information and services into the other systems as required. I'm going to return to the decision system from the material system. So you can follow the flow of information and resources visually and through calculation through each of the local systems and through the global system. So you can form a matrix yeah, where you have life support, technical support, exploratory support, life support, technical support, exploratory support, and then the subsystems of those systems. 
é uma matriz onde no eixo de cima você tem o suporte à vida, o suporte técnico e o suporte exploratório, e no outro eixo os mesmos, é, é, os mesmos tópicos. É nesses ne é nesses é nesse E aí a, a sequência deles dá cada um de, dos subsistemas, a interseção deles dá os subsistemas. And this is necessary for economic calculation. There's also nature in the material system from which we acquire resources and which either on purpose or accidentally resources go back to nature. This system, the material system, as I said, influences our lifestyle. We can visualize our lifestyle, but I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to provide a brief context for the lifestyle of people in community. The lifestyle of people in community is often experienced easily as merging into the state of flow regularly. Yeah, plus, yeah, regularly. Of course, being in flow requires recovery. And so there is a model of flow of flow in the lifestyle system. The lifestyle system is also highly composed of learning and growing together. It's not composed of employment like the market state. Work is completed through contribution and uh, positive service. Yeah. So we can follow our passions easily. Another element of all of this is automation. Automation is allowing us to do all of this more easily and quickly at scale. And that will give us more freedom and abundance. And so a technological automation is important. I'm now going to talk about um, how people work within this system. So we can contribute in many different ways. We can contribute to the information standards and the way this is done within even society today is by working groups. Or we can contribute to the material system and be uh, a part, a, a part of. One of the service system teams. So there's a lifestyle, there's a a uh, life support team and following a technical support and exploratory support team. I'm now going to uh, move back to the decision system. In community, there is no property or ownership. Instead, there is access. So the concept of rights can be confusing today. Então, 
o conceito de direitos pode ser confu é, né, confuso. Rights are given and taken by governments. Hoje os direitos são dados e recebidos pelo yes. governo. The very I dados e retirados. Yes. The very idea of trying to the very idea of trying to create community by establishing rights is using the logic of a different type of society. In community, there are three types of access. I'll write it here. There is systems level access. And systems level, in order to have systems level access, you need to be part of one of the teams or part of a working group. Otherwise, you do not have systems level access. Then there's common access, uh, which is otherwise known as community access. And this is accessing some of the services in the habitat. Uh, no, it, you're accessing some of the outputs of these service systems. So you might be accessing a building. And this is temporary. Uh, and, or you might be accessing a tennis court or a tennis racket or a tool. Yeah. And these are used and then returned. There's also personal access. Personal access could be classified as a some sub form, sub form, subtype. Subtype of common access. It's things that you are supposed to. only have access to during the time that you use them before the resources are returned. Of course, you can provide access to others, but sometimes you might not want to. For example, the house you're living in or your toothbrush or your telephone, or your notebook, physical or online. These are personal access items. And you can provide access to others or not until the resources are returned and recycled. Yeah. Any questions? I, or we take questions afterward. I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover. Uh, we've gone an hour. Uh, that is the whole system at a high level. So you have working groups that develop the standards. You have teams that operate the habitat service systems. And maybe there's one other component I would like to speak about. And that's the interface with the market state. Okay. So. You have. We'll divide into three again. You have the working groups. 
which develop the tech socio-technical standards. You have the teams which work in the habitat service system. And then you have a set of interface teams. And these teams interface with other societies. And that may be other societies on the planet or in the universe. So these interface teams interface with the various components, at least on planet Earth right now, with the market state of the market state. So you have a team that interfaces with the market. This may be commercial entities or other commercial institutions, financial groups, funding, and then you have a team that interfaces with governments. And information and resources can flow both ways. And may need to, depending upon how this system materializes. May, may, the, for example, um, there we may, may need resources from the from governments or the market. It depends. Well, it depends upon um, how it how the village or city is constructed. So you may need a funding source. So money would flow from the uh, the market uh, into the community in order to continue to provide resources and services because you might need a computer, and the computer isn't capable of being built within your habitat service system. Yes, so a small eco-village that wants to implement this model might require a continuous funding source in order to require, say, computational equipment, which includes rare earth resources which aren't on that land. Each of these teams, you technically could call the working groups working teams, but, but it's more of a standard to call them working groups. Has a project coordinator. And that coordinator, that coordinator coordinates uh, that whole element. So I use the term project coordination, and I try to stay away from project management. but they are essentially similar. And this is how work is completed within the system. And this is part of our lifestyle, but also part of our project plan. And if we were going to incorporate the project plan in this model, we would put it here and call it a form of project control. Okay. I think we're good. I think that's enough information for the time being. Yes? Okay. Elizabeth, would you like to present now? Yeah.
yes. Uh, should we do questions afterward or go ahead? Go ahead. Uh, it's about what you said about a small community that might require continuous funding, but any kind of environment can create a surplus of value of what's being generated internally. Yes. Is that incorporated in the dependency on an outside? Because for the startup of all of this, it's always going to be dependent on the outside market state. Yes. And if thought out well, it can become self-sufficient from a very early age. Of course, it needs a startup period, like any startup. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that interface back into the market state, is that included in the... the, the yes, you can produce an abundance of any of the services yeah. here, and those can be sold into the market. Like that. Yes. Yeah. So you pr produce it. You could have people come in and experience a resort type conscious, you know, yeah. ceremonies yeah. for the consciousness exploration that would bring fun funding in. And then you could take that funding or you produce an abundance of uh, food within the cultivation system that could be sold back into the market. Um, you could discover something, you know, and uh, have that discovery make money in some way. Yeah, I've seen the bridge now to the old so, yeah, it's a it's a gradual process of producing a but if you need funding from out if you need resources from outside it's a gradual process of producing abundance of various service outputs of the habitat service system And those outputs go into the market state. And what comes in from the market state is other things that are required that cannot necessarily be provided by the current habitat. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, well, yes. Yes. Uh, yes, this is a city. This is a city. For the data information, you obviously it's kind of mapped out on this, right? So it's like a kind of map of all your cities. Yes. But obviously, each of these material systems is going to have different life support, different technical support, different intelligence mm. support, and they're all going to be completely different. No. So the service systems, are you saying the outputs? Yeah. Uh, the service systems are the same. Well, the but structure of the system is the same, but the, the input into that system is going to be different. Because yes, it may be different. The city will be different. Um, some, depending, some, depending on climate, depending on location, you know, like depending on culture, you know, all these things in, in fairness to form one's damage. It's no, we. Be, it's not going to be mirrors of each other. They're not going to be exact. Correct, they're not going to be exact, but every. Every habitat requires medical support. Every habitat. Course, yeah. That's not your Our question. Architecture will be the same, but the input output. Will yes, be yes, correct. Exactly. Yes, yeah. yes. So when you're actually coming to your kind of map, right? How does this then? You, you have a global. You have a global version and then local versions. Oh, okay. So this would be more a global version. Uh, this could global and local. You're feeding information from the global to the local and the local to the global. Oh, okay. So yeah. you have you have a variety of different matrices. Perfect. No, and they're complex matrices. Okay. And the system isn't complete. Yeah, no, no, it answered my question already. That was yeah. perfect. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. The work work are tasks to be completed. Hmm? So what you call work for the different tasks and projects. Yes. Yes. Everything is completed as a project. Okay. And all projects have roles and tasks. Yes. So the high level system is a high compartmentalized system, and at least at this point. Mm -hmm. But I guess a lot of information integration is needed, and are you, you need quite either a massive AI that can integrate all the information, data from the different mm -hmm. systems, groups, teams, to come to like wholesome broad projects that are actually required? And what is the integration platform for 
all different levels of decision making, system requirements, projects, uh, intentions, values, like how... Yeah, I haven't seen one built yet. I mean, there are lots of platforms that do those sorts of things, but they're all separated. They're not unified. Oh. You have, yeah, you have various companies doing all everything. You have some companies doing project management. You have other companies yeah, doing traditional systems. Like for my company, we have uh, specialists in uh, politics. We have specialists in human relations. We have, you know, and they're all working one team. Yeah. But here it seems to be a bit more separate. Uh, are you, or are you still in? more traditional paradigm that many of these teams and work groups have uh, a wide variety of expertise within the group that communicates with all the other groups and it's still sort of mainly human uh, exchange of, of data and information integration. Until the software systems are built. Okay. Have you heard of Glasscrow? No. Glasscrow, you know, what you were what do you want is like a bit more complex, but plus from there is already a good version of it. Okay. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. is a holocracy, sociocracy type of project management tools. Okay. But still not really completely uh, integrated. And whole spirit is already a little oh, bit spirit is is a little bit better. Yeah. But the things we're talking about is like it's coming. Yeah. Within 12 to 24 months, we're going to see whole systems design platforms that operate yeah. in, in a non corruptible way to the interchange freely of information and yeah. people and skills yeah. and expertise and all these parts are going to merge together yeah. in some magical virtual reality world where we can create this first and then build it in the real world. That's what Mark and his partners are working on, and Brett's working on, and what several other people, and they're all building a combined governance tool to start merging all the intellectual properties together with each agreement fields honored so that it can become one synergy. Yeah, we're trying to unify everything. So even you might have different teams and the, the individuals communicate, right? Who, who uh, coordinates everything? Do you have project coordinators that coordinate the teams? Who uh, communicates between teams and how does that occur? You know, like with our, in our company, of course, it's just the old standard. Okay. It has to become a CEO and they yeah. all, teams and All of this is transparent. So all the work that's completed is completely transparent. Uh, the working groups can see everything the teams are doing. The teams can see everything the working groups are doing. And the project coordinator ensures that objectives, are com objectives, goals, and requirements are complete between yeah, everyone. That requires information integration because yes. it takes me time to see what you're doing. Yes. But because it's such a large system, I have to select which information is relevant for me to integrate. Yes. Um, and the task to do that will also require kind of which person is qualified to be able to, in a wholesome way, actually integrate all that information. That's a really difficult task. In well, because everyone with access will. Yes. Yeah. If, if you've got community access, you don't yeah. necessarily have, well, for my mind, you wouldn't actually have. But yeah, but even then, access to this. Even then, if you find one on the platform sheets, everybody has access to everything. But I'm limited in to what I can look at. Yes. Um, and you, you can design software that ensures that people are alerted or notified when specific information becomes available. Um, yeah, sure. It's just, then you, when you, you shouldn't go too deep, and then the problem comes that if you have uh, a suboptimal starting point with your software that maybe um, has a bias in what information will feed you. Instantly, if you are fully reliant on the software to feed the information integration process, your whole sort of uh, light city may, you know, like might lose balance on that specific theme. And um, I guess you need to have some self correct mechanisms for this. Yeah, that's why you need a human involved at first in project coordination. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I see a lot of uh, parallels with like the 20th century communist kind of uh, attempts. Which yeah. Uh, which I, I really uh, respect in many ways for the, the attempt, but I mean, we've all seen it. It can be really difficult to. Uh, it is an extreme, I mean, it's a challenging problem. We're kind of re, 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 re tackling the problem of, of a unified solution that serves the common good uh, in a way that is not predicated on individual actors just chaotically interfacing. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, but, but that's something. Yeah. yeah, bring it, bring it to a stop so we get time for Elizabeth and also we have time for a, a short break before we go to the. Uh,